Thus, DK Bullet enables serious players to experience much greater speed and spin in their game without sacrificing control. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody had a very Merry Christmas. So my dad received this as a present from one of his ping pong students. This is the Stiga Bullets Tournament Level Table Tennis Racket. That's available for right around $69. So you can see right here, it says performance quality. This is the, uh, I guess their bullet model. It's for designed for tournament play. That gives you the maximum capability of speed of 85, spin of 91, and control of 78. Right off the bat, I can see that it's got a very nice handle right there. Okay, it's got some of these additional technology that's incorporated into the design. And let's take a look at the back. Do you see the performance quality? Okay, and the special Stiga bullet technology such as the uh, WRB system, which is uh, increases your blade balance, recovery rate, and ball sensitivity. Also has the crystal technology that um, helps uh, harden the blade for increased speed. Along with the ACS technology delivering outstanding control and the ultra lightweight balsa material. You see that right there. Let's go ahead and unbox it. Pretty excited. And I believe this is model T1067. Here we go. An unboxing. It's another Christmas. Wow. I like that color right there. So it looks like this is uh, kind of like a intermediate not a super long handle you know sometimes you can hold it like this for greater control or this for greater speed so it's like an in-between um, pedal design one side is red one side is black and it has the five layer ply that was indicating before so let me go ahead and tear off this plastic here we go. Ah, look how fresh and clean that looks. A brand new pad. Who doesn't love that? It's a beauty, guys. It's a beauty. Look at that. Look at the handle design. It's got the Stiga bullets. Rated uh, four stars. It's got another in Stiga logo right there. I really like that design. It makes it look fast and stealthy. Oh, looks like I forgot to remove on this side too. Oh, look how fresh that is. Here's what the red side is. Here's what the side cross section kind of looks like. Okay. So, like I was mentioning, it has a five ply light blade design incorporated. It's pretty lightweight. Let's go ahead and compare it to the other paddles that my dad has. All right, so welcome to my dad's basement. Here's one of the prints tables. Here's the layout. He actually teaches a couple of students. And here's the jeweler, the older tennis, table tennis racket. Let me show you his accolades right here. He used to teach in China. Okay, check it out. For those of you who can read Chinese, all right? And that's my dad. Uh, when he was young, he taught a number one ranked Chinese player that you see on the left, the taller guy. The shorter guy is my dad in his youth, all right? And that's the uh, flag, I guess, they use. And that's another accolade. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the paddles that he currently uses. So as you can see, some of these are probably cheaper brands. Right off the bat, I can tell these, this is probably a cheaper one. Walner, but it's made in Japan. See, 
This is the one I'm talking about that's designed for the control type. I don't know what the specific name is, but I prefer using this for control as opposed to this is for power, okay? And this is your soccer brand. You have some uh, sport craft. What's this, Dhoni? Um, Chinese brand that I don't recognize. Friendship, second of in China. So here's the one. Comparing to the other ones, right off the bat, you can tell that it is, looks a lot more elegant and a lot more sexy. All right, so let's go ahead and compare the bounce capability of a couple of these paddles. Let's go ahead and start out with the Sparkcraft. That's the cheap, uh, I guess, the American model right here. Way too loud, not enough bounce. Oh, I right hear it's pretty much plywood. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the uh, Chinese three-star brand. It should be, yeah, a lot more softer, harder uh, on the red paddle, side paddle. And here is the, uh, what's this, the Yasaka Swedish brand. Oh, I thought it was a Japanese brand. That sounds better, yeah. I imagine this is the more expensive paddle. And let's go ahead and test out the, the Bullet brand, the Stiga Bullet. Sounds good. Along with the red side, that also sounds good, guys. All right, this is the Tenergy Butterfly made in Japan brand. Not familiar with Don, Donic Barracuda. Oh, wow, that has quite a bit of bounce. And this paddle is worn out, too. <laughs> okay, first of all, my dad's gonna surf using the racket, okay. Okay, he's using the black side. All different types of serves. You want home bin? Okay, now the red side. So after using the Stiga bullet, I'm thoroughly impressed. Can you believe it? This paddle is lighter weight than any of those that you see right there. The bounce is definitely there. And when I was returning the serves, returning the balls, whether it be using top spin, um, bottom spin, or just a regular return or a slam, the control and the speed combination is definitely there. So if you are a serious ping pong player looking for combination of quality, speed, and spin, definitely check out the Stiga Bullet tournament level table tennis racket.